a depiction of how the amazing atheist and many others view a Christian home. Tom comes home to his wife, who does nothing other than cook, clean, and serve her husband. He settles into his chair and begins to talk to his wife and children. I really wish I could kill all the unrighteous people. They are always trying to make the earth clean and without any problems. You're pregnant, Sally? But you and Tom got married five years ago. You're going to hell. And you need to repent for that baby. And Tom Jr., don't do that science homework. You know atheists made science up. Now, <laughs> I know <clears throat> that seems kind of far out there. <laughs> but this is what atheists really believe that theists are like. I want to reply to Amazing Atheist video. Um, I think it's Let's Deal with the Fundies or something. It's something like that. It has to do with uh, dealing with fundamentalist Christians. <laughs> and uh, first of all, I want to point out that in your video, you imply that all Christians are like this. When in fact, I've been in Christianity, I got out of Christianity for six years, but I have been in Christianity altogether since I was born. So the six years that I was out, we could say about 16 years I've been in Christianity then. Um, <laughs> I've never heard someone say anything on this list or anything that is even remotely close to it. That's what's so funny because you bring up a whole list of crazy things that fundamentalists have said. Now, one, um, most of them are on uh, message boards, things of that nature. So, we don't really know if it was a Christian or someone trying to mock a Christian. Two, <laughs> like I said, I have never heard anybody say any of these things. You try to portray Christians as these um, <clears throat> irrational, illogical, crazy people who want to, you know, kill all atheists and hang them on crosses and, uh, you know, we, we're just, we, we can't wait to see you in hell. That's what, I mean, that's what we're looking forward to. Hey, we are just, we are so excited about seeing you in hell. This. And I just watched uh, Exiled's video. She gave one person that said supposedly 40% of Americans say they are fundamentalist Christians. For one, this study was done by somebody on the BBC. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure how much weight that really holds in America. But, okay, well, I'll, I'll take your word for it. 40% um, of people say that they are fundamentalist Christians. Um, how are they using the word fundamentalist? They're not using it as in the term they want to kill people or they want all gays and atheists to be burned at the stake. That's not the way that these people are using these words. But I understand that you like to portray Christians in that way because if you don't who's going to follow you then if Christians aren't horrible people then why try to get rid of religion um, I think it's funny how it, all, all atheists say Christians are so irrational so illogical so dumb and they won't listen to facts I do I get on here and I listen to facts I'll debate some uh, I watch a lot of videos I read a lot of articles um, I was actually talking with somebody from the Rational Response Squad today, and uh, it was in uh, Together for Peace's live room on Stick Cam, and he said, I asked him the question that if God came down and showed himself to you and said, I am God, blah, 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 would you, you know, what would you do? He said, well, I still wouldn't worship him.
Does that seem logical? Does that seem rational? I mean, if this supernatural being comes down, tells you that he's God, he's the creator of everything, of you, of the world, of the universe, of everything, and that he is your way to eternal bliss or eternal damnation, you wouldn't worship him? Because why? Because you would rather worship yourself? You would rather put yourself first than someone else? Me and my husband is thinking about having a baby, but hesitate because his brother, which we have no contact with whatsoever, is presumably gay. Might this affect the baby? Is there some precautions I can take or some medications I can eat to make sure my child is pure? Thank you for your help. Don't know what I'll do without you. No. <laughs> most people, most people, not just these, most people aren't stupid like this. I'm sorry that if you watch my video, I don't know who made this, but I'm sorry. That That is stupidity. Most Christians don't believe in anything even close to that. You know it's because of evolution that we have Earth Day. I'm against Earth Day. If you look at the purpose and reason behind Earth Day, it's satanic. People want you to think we're in some way obligated to cleaning up the Earth. That is stupidity. That's stupidity. That's a stupid person making a stupid comment. Okay? I'm sorry. These things are incredibly stupid, yes, but they do not depict 95% of theists. These are the 5% that you want to depict only because it helps your organization and your movements. This doesn't do anything but that. Now, if you get on other websites and check out actual good Christian quotes, you'll see that they are not these raving, stupid, <laughs> illogical, irrational thoughts. So please, do your homework a little bit more and don't base it off of one thing that some atheist decided to, you know, put together a site to show how stupid he thought Christians were. So, thank you, and if, uh, you have any time, check out some other sites that actually pertain to real theism and real Christianity.